Hey everybody, welcome to Lip Shoes and Issues. I'm Jeannie and this is kind of a part dos from my video last night that I recorded because I was using the Good Molecules um, exfoliator and then the overnight exfoliator. And I can tell you that um, I really do like it. Um, as a matter of fact, I love it. My, my skin felt so smooth and um, just kind of renewed. And wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the Huda, which was a lot more expensive. Um, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with the Good Molecules Pineapple uh, pineapple Exfoliating Powder. And uh, I liked it. It worked pretty well. But anyway, I, I bought some new stuff that I wanted to do a maybe a get ready with me this morning. I'm going to probably do a little bit more of a dramatic look going to work, which I don't normally do. But what the heck, I bought all this stuff, which I'm kind of excited about. So... It's time to play with makeup. I, let's see, I'm gonna, I already put some moisturizer in the eye cream under my eyes, which um, I used it, which I'm almost out of, so I have to buy more, but the Mur Murad Renewing Eye Cream, I really love this stuff. I, you know, I put, use it every morning, not at night, because I go, I do much, you know, something much more emollient at night, and I use that treat beauty stick, which I love. Uh, but I'm going to, this morning, I usually use the Murad, I wait a little bit, then I put on the Tula Glow and Get It Stick because it's got some um, radiance to it. And it's also quite emollient. It feels good and cooling. I usually leave this in my little tabletop refrigerator so it's nice and cooling. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue with the Good Molecules um, kick that I'm on. And this is a priming moisturizer, so I might as well. I only use a little bit of the sunscreen, which is um, my fave. It's uh, the Super Goop. I love this. It's daily moisturizer, moisturizer SPF 40. This just feels like a moisturizer. You can't tell it's a sunscreen, and it doesn't have that white film to it at all. So, and another moisturizer that I love, I just love, which it doesn't have any sunscreen in it, which is shocking, but it's the It Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone. I love this stuff, but I'm out of it. I'm going to just make do with what I have. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this priming moisturizer on. Should I use a brush? Just opening it for the first time. No, I'm just going to use my hands with this one. It's funny, when you open up the top, it's so difficult, but then you can open up the bottom and it comes right out. I don't know why they do that. Well, no, not in this case. They cover through. So, okay. So, I forget how much I paid for this. doesn't look like you get a lot. So, I'm glad I used the little bit of moisturizer prior to using this, but I'm going to go ahead and use, just catch it on, I'll use just a dollop, and I mean, if it does work as a primer and moisturizer, that would be awesome. Absolutely no smell. Um, I think the attraction about this is it's uh, cruelty free. Pretty sure. I think I saw that on their website. Don't quote me on that just yet, but I usually don't buy anything. Unless it's cruelty free, but I'm sure you're going to see some things that are very, con you know, controversial. You never know. Because I do, I use Chanel, I'm not sure. You know what, I should look into that. Something you don't think about when you're putting on makeup, you know. You don't want any animals to suffer for you to put on makeup for sure. So, anyway, this, it has some stickiness to it. So, I guess that's the idea, the primer. And that's okay. And it feels good. And there's no fragrance. So, 
I am going, I was going to use, actually, I love this stuff, the Beauty Blender, the Leveler. That's also a, a pore minimizing primer. This is really good, good, good stuff. I love it, but I'm not going to use that right now. Um, and also, I bought the Rare Beauty Joy. That's the popular one right now. And I bought the, another color from her. But um, I'm going to go with this color because it feel it, it it's peachy, but it feels kind of good for today with the colors that I'm using. This uh, Joy feels a, like a fall color, so I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to get started. And um, but last month uh, I was in Nordstrom and I've always wanted to try the Le Beige's, uh Water Fresh Tint in medium. Uh, it I wouldn't say that this is particularly a good uh, winter or fall foundation because it's a very light coverage, which is something I, I would rather do during the summer. But I want to try this. I just do. I bought it and I want to try it and I'm going to do it. And I could be completely wrong. And I wouldn't mind a little more, a little bit of a uh, lighter look today. But this is the bottle. That's the box. It comes with a comes with a little brush, and it looks like a little stipple brush that's on an angle. So that's cute. It's it's small. Maybe it's good for travel. I'm not going to use that today, but it's soft and. I love the fact that you get a brush with it, especially for Chanel. But I'm going to go ahead and use my normal it uh, brush, stipple brush that's got the that's on the angle. I'm going to use this one because it's bigger and can cover more. Oh. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Very interesting looking. They're little beads in water. Okay, let's see how that looks. Actually, first I'm going to do my eyebrows. So, I wanted to quickly groom my eyebrows a little bit. So, I'm going to shake this. And, oh, it came right out. Oh my gosh. It's interesting. It's like water. It's like water. Well, it doesn't look like water though. It's got some, it definitely has some gorgeous light, very light coverage, but coverage. Leave it to Chanel. Anything I get from Chanel is perfect. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I do. You just can't go wrong with Chanel. Um, I almost feel like this goes along with the good molecules. With the good molecules, it smooths your skin, and this also smooths your skin. I'm going to... You can't... Ugh. Honestly, it's so watery, I can't... Maybe more like a gel. I'm saying water, but it is staying. So, see how it's... I'm going to get those spots from Rub it down a little bit on my neck. It feels really good. I mean, period. It just, it feels luxurious. Do a little bit more because it's very light coverage. I'm just dabbing my brush on it because I was going to use a beauty sponge, but I'm already using this. I'm dabbing it because I don't want the, the gel to get too much into the brush. But this is, feels really good. Honestly, it feels perfect for what I want today. Because I don't want a lot of coverage. But I did buy <laughs> some foundation with really good coverage that I am going to be testing. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I mean, light coverage. This is 
perfect for light coverage. Perfect. So I am going to do concealer. And I'm um, noticing I'm getting some blue under my eye and kind of bags. I think, you know, it's the end, it's, we're going towards the end of the year. So who's not going to have bags at the end of this year? You know what I mean? So I'm going to offset the bags with a very peachy color that I have. And this is called, it's from Maybelline and it's called Master Camo. And it's in color Apricot. And it's a very orangey, um, dark peach color. And I just use a little bit around the blue under my eye because it definitely does offset the blue. I'll see if they still make this. I'm not sure. They also make a darker color, like almost like a red, which um, would be for darker skin tones. But honestly, it's also for darker blue. If you want to offset, if you got some real blue under your eyes, I have it and I've used it and it works for me also. Um, so you just kind of pull and it comes out. Too much came out, so you definitely want to, uh, you don't want to put too much on, okay? You just want to put a tiny, tiny bit on. So, and if they don't have this available I anymore, which I'll, I'll check. And um, if they don't, for this, I would just use my fingers. I noticed that Kim Kardashian has come out with color correctors that are very similar to these colors. I just, uh, the with her, I guess it's the trying to figure out which one you want because she came out with four, which is really great. And one is a pink and the next one is a peach, a dark peach, not as dark as this one, but a dark peach. And, um, and then an orange and a red. So it's going to go with, you know, obviously it's going to go with your skin tone. And uh, I was thinking about actually ordering two of the colors because I like two, just in case one doesn't work. Um, but anyway, this is cool stuff. And buff, I can never, I can never pronounce this name. Macri Complet, Mackie Complet, Massey Complet, I don't know. It's, I guess it's French. I also want to try baking. I saw um, Kim Kardashian's like under eye because I was all, I'm all into that. She likes to perfect the under eye, so um, I think I'm going to try baking. The only thing is, is my skin's dry, so I don't know what baking is going to do for me. But why not? I'll try it. See what it looks like the uh, by the end of the day. Because I really do need my under eye to be quite. Uh, quite moisturized in order for concealer to work and I don't know if it's even moister moisturized for this and I'm using a buffing concealer by Sonia um, Kat Kashuk I like I love this brush actually and I'm just dabbing it I also like Bobbi Brown's Peachy uh, Under Eye Concealer. It's very peachy. And you could probably use it alone, but I just find if you're correcting the colors under your eyes, um, you, need, you need to use a color corrector under the concealer. But I don't know. I think the blue is gone. See a tiny, 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 tiny bit right here, so I'll go in a little bit, minimal. Maybe I'll use a thinner brush to blend that. This is e.l.f. concealer brush. It's like perfect for just those little tiny lines that you may want to get. So. Next is eyes. 
And another thing I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start doing false eyelashes and I need a lot of practice for that. So um, what I'm gonna do is I think every morning I'm just gonna start putting on my lashes and going to work and just, that's gonna be my practice. And I don't care if it's gonna look bad, look good, whatever, I'm not gonna try and perfect it. I'm just gonna do it like every day because I see some of these girls, they put these lashes on like they're, like it's nothing. I would love to do that. So I'm going to use, this is kind of a perfect for today, this um, eyeliner. It's from Pixie. And watch out for Pixie right now because they're having some sales here and there, you know, obviously for Black Friday or, or the holidays. Um, this is Endless Silky Pen. Now this color is in graphic, graphic grayish, which is a grayish brown. I had this a while ago. I used to use it all the time when my sister came and she stole it from me. So I had to buy another one. And I don't mind if my sister's come and take my stuff because that's what I'm about. And I have too much. But anyway, I love this color and I think it's perfect for what I'm doing today. This is a very silky, creamy eyeliner. So you definitely have to let it set. And I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do a simple lining of the eyes. And I'm just trying to get as close to the lashes as possible because I don't want to do the waterline with this color. It's too silky, I feel like. When you do the waterline, you definitely want to use a coal type of pencil, not a creamy, creamy pencil because it's just not going to last. So either like a coal type of pencil because the coal in a coal pencil soaks up dampness, which is why it works for the waterline. And in this case, I'm going to use my ever so favorite, and where did it go? Bare Minerals. Here it is. My ever so favorite, one fine line, perfect for the waterline, using the brown. And all this does is it just covers up any white. Now the grayish, the gray in this grayish is really coming through. But just again, not doing a wing, not gonna get too dramatic, but definitely want a nice little fall look. So for my eye color, I'm gonna use the Morphe palette uh, Painted Desert. These colors are very fall, very pretty, very pumpkin-y. Um, only a few of the uh, shimmery, but the rest are matte. Uh, that look, I mean, that's a pumpkin color. That's a chocolate color. That's kind of a peachy fall color. That's a lighter pumpkin color. I mean, these colors are really pretty. So... And again, I'm not going to go too dramatic, but I'm going to just kind of lightly use it before I lose it. Let me get a good brush here. 
alpha eye so I'm going to use the alpha eyeshadow shadow brush for my lids. I'm going to go very light on the lids. So I'm going to use this pe light peachy color here. Again, going light. I just dab it. And then I'm going to, I forgot to tell you guys. I'll tell you later. But I got the Mario, um, the Makeup by Mario eyelid uh, gloss. And that stuff is like cool. And I was thinking about using that instead, but I'll do, I'm going to go with a little bit of color. Now, I feel like I have a lot of pigment on here, so I'm going to wipe a little bit off and just kind of dab it on here. Because I don't want to do too much. So, that's it. Tiny, tiny bit. Dab. Dab, wipe. Believe me, if I walked in with full makeup into my job, everybody would like go, what the? Only because you could just kind of roll out of bed and go to work. <laughs> so it is what it is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this um, chocolatey color here. And I'm going to mix it with the dark pumpkin. So I'm going to use these two. Actually, though, I'm not going to use this brush. I'm going to use another one. I want more of a fluffy brush for this. This is, oh, I don't even know what this one was. But it's a favorite. You know when you have a favorite? This is a favorite. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a fluffy, kind of bigger eyeshadow brush. And so I'm going to dab both, okay, because I want a little bit of brown, but I also want a little bit of the pumpkin. And then I'm just going to mix it up a little bit on the on my hands and just kind of go in very softly. Because I'm trying to, I don't want a perfection, I just want to, Hey, did you put on a makeup look? You know what I mean? So I'm going to dab both again. Or, hey, something looks a little different about you. <laughs> so I like the burnt, like when you mix it together, you get kind of a burnt pumpkin. It's a little, a little darker, which is okay. So I kind of like it. I like the colors combined together, which all I want to do. And then I want to take my, this is kind of, this is a face tapered brush that I actually bought on Amazon. You can buy the whole set for like $10. And, uh, you know, when I see a set of brushes for $10, I'm getting it. But I'm just going to do a little bit of buffing on the eyes just to blend it and make it you know look like I've had it on for a little while and then I'm going to of course take a little bit of the peachy color again and I'm just going to do the highlight very lightly and I'm going to use again that elf eyeshadow brush because I have a couple of them and very lightly because I'm using matte colors right now I'm not going to go in with a shine or a sparkle, which I have no problem doing with, but I'll do that if I go out to happy hour, whenever that's going to be again, right? Um, but for the eyes, boom, I'm going to put on the mascara and then we'll go ahead with the brush and lips. Okay, so time for the blush, the Rare Beauty Joy. So, uh, hmm, do I want to use a brush for this or my fingers? Because I saw Selena use both. And I've seen a lot of the influencers that are older, our age, use their fingers so I'll use my fingers and this is what from what they say 
extremely pigmented. So you start out with a tiny bit. So that's what I'm going to do a little, and I'm a over the top blush girl, so better not do that. Tiny, two tiny little dots. Let's see how this works. Because I can always add more. Oh, oh God. I am, I'm a cop. Um, woo. Oh my. A little bit on the nose there. That is very pigmented. Very pigmented. Okay. It's, um, I need a little bit more over here. Oof. I don't know. I don't know if I like it, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to wear it today. I don't know if I like the color. I'm more of a red berry color. Red berry girl. I'm going to use a bit more. Oh, I know I did too much just there. I'm going to use a brush for that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is freaking pigmented. Whoa. Should have done a lot less. Not sure why I. Oh my gosh! All right. Well, I don't know. People were raving about this, but I don't. I don't like the color. But I'm not going to take it off because. Just uh, whatever. It's gonna. I'm gonna deal with it today and see what happens. It's definitely pumpkin-y in an orange way. That could be just my skin tone. I don't know. But that's why I do this. To make mistakes. Show you. But I really have seen it look really gorgeous on a lot of other women. This sucker is pigmented. I'm not even going to be able to get off the brush. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to go on with the lips. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Cocoa. Just bought that not too long ago. Tried it once. Love it. Love, love, love. I feel like a pumpkin. Bobbi Brown Cocoa. I'm just going to do the top, the front. I'm not going to get all... I do uh, this cocoa lip liner, yes. A big fat yes. Go get it. I'm going to use Too Faced Melted Matte. This is very matte, but might as well go with the orange. <laughs> Could be orange today. Gingerbread Girl. I do love this color. I'm going to do a tiny, tiny bit. It's a, it, it's almost like a burnt cinnamon. I'm going to put just, just stab it. It smells like gingerbread cookies. This is so pigmented also. But if you just dab it on a little bit, don't go too crazy. It's beautiful. See? It's like a cinnamon that is the color that i am going to give this a, a nice dark cinnamon color it's a bit dramatic but 
like I said before, I'm not, I don't hate the dramatic lips. And I'm going to shine it up a little bit with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk. Cause you know, if you don't have diamond milk, I don't know what to tell you. You gotta get it. And again, I'm just gonna dab it on my fingers. And if you haven't told by now, yes, my lips are plumped. I'm not ashamed. I was going to bring you guys with me, but they wouldn't let me. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and reevaluate this blush. I'm going to keep it on now because... Who knows, maybe by noon I'm going to go, damn, I love it, but I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and I have to tell you that when I went to the bathroom to do my hair, um, this uh, this color, um, Joy, Rare Beauty, took on another life because in my bathroom, this color was gorgeous, smooth, glowy, really, really pretty, but I'm... Um, and in my makeup mirror, it looks um, okay. You know, it looks more like a dark nude. But in the camera, it looks orange. So, I don't know, guys. You be the judge of that. But I'm, I'm going to go out to my car. And I will either take a picture or whatever. Because it's going to be a completely different light. And see what happens there. So, uh, but right now, yeah, I, I like it. I do. It's, uh, but you know, I think different lighting. I don't know. My hands are so dry. And I, I want to tell you that, um, Bath and Body Works, these little creams, they are, they are so nice. So amazing. This one is vanilla buttercream. The other one I had was pumpkin cupcake and they don't have that anymore. And I'll tell you what, that smells enough for you to use hand cream like a few times a day. This one smells like, it smells nice. But it's just not as strong, and um, which is okay. I know a lot of people don't like strong fragrance, but it's just that that pumpkin oh, it smelled so good. But anyway, anywho, I'm hoping that I can get this edited and up before Thanksgiving. Let me know what you're making for Thanksgiving. I'm making oyster stuffing and um, a two turkeys. We're going to roast. Actually, we're going to put one turkey in the Instapot. We have never done that before, but I have a really big one. So we're going to try that because I saw some YouTubes and people love it. And then we're going to deep fry one, which we normally do. And then um, I think I'm going to pick up a pumpkin pie today and everybody else is bringing stuff and making stuff. Thank God. Okay. My daughter's making mashed potatoes. Thank God. That's the hardest part, I think. But, oh, and my mom's making sausage stuffing, but they're not coming. So she's making us a, a dish, and I'm going to be bringing that. Of course, you know, the, her sausage stuffing is like a staple. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And let me know what you're making. And if this is after Thanksgiving, let me know what you had and how everything went. And I love you, and I'll see you soon. So here's another angle. Why isn't my steering wheel showing up? Every time I take, my steering wheel shows up and now it's not. Wow, that's weird. So anyway, but this is a different angle. So it's more of a neutrally orangey nude maybe I would say. And my skin undertones, I know they don't do very well with nude, I'm not nude, um, or a peachy orange, but, gosh, I'm sorry, this is really shaky, but I'm okay today, this, you know, in different lights, it's like, oh gosh, that's pretty, and then in some lights, it's like, oh, like, <laughs> right before I got in the car, I looked again in my makeup mirror, and I said, oh no, this is going back, <laughs> So, I don't know. Um, but 
but anyway, just giving you different lightings, and then I guess you can make the uh, decision yourself. I do know that Joy, um, the color Joy, is very popular because that is the color that she used, Selena Gomez used when she uh, did her little tutorial about her new makeup line. But um, the lipstick kind of, well, it's still a little bit there, but it did fade off a little bit, even though it's a matte. Probably because of the lip gloss. But anyway, just want to give you a different lighting. Love, love you guys.